So this is the machine that hooks up to the faucet and um, the water comes out of two tubes. It comes out of, and it always equals a pH of 14. So if you press the button for 2.5, 2.5 will come out of one side, 11.5 comes out of the other. And everything could be used for something. So the 2.5, you spray it on your skin, I put it in these little uh, spray bottles. You spray it on your skin if you have acne, eczema, psoriasis, gangrene. Kids that are on the proactive, which is really not that good for you because you shouldn't put anything on your skin that you wouldn't eat. And so now they're changing them, they're using this, and they're able to get rid of their acne problems. So that's kind of cool. The other side is 11, and you can also spray the 2.5 on the outside of your fruits and vegetables and it kills the germs, so then they're going to last longer. Then the 11.5, you put your fruits and vegetables in a bowl of the 11.5, and it's going to um, withdraw the pesticides, because most of the pesticides are petroleum-based, and the 11.5 is an emulsifier, so it, it breaks up the oils. You can also clean with the 11.5, clean the floors, clean the windows. You can add it to your laundry instead of laundry detergent, and it cleans your laundry. So it's pretty wild, all the different things that it can do. Then the next one is beauty water, so that you spray that on your skin. It's just like a skin toner. The next one is... Um, a pH of 7. The pH of 7 is the same as tap water. It's required by law to be a pH of 7, but they put chlorine and lye and different um, chemicals in it that you don't want to drink really. And then you start drinking the water at 8.5 and you go to 9 and 9.5. The reason that you gradually go up from the 8.5 is because when you first start to drink it, you actually detox. So you might get a little headache. You might, um, your bowel movements might be different. You might break out, you, um, you might feel like you have the flu, depends on how toxic you are. So you start at the 8.5, if you don't get a headache, you go to the 9.5, or if you don't get any other symptoms. Um, not everybody feels the symptoms because, you know, uh, some people feel energy instead of, you know, something negative. And, um, and so then you lead up to the 9.5, the 9.5 is your goal to drink. Well, that's pretty much how it works, and then how it works in the store is you buy a container from me, and then you get three weeks free of the water. And the reason that I do that is so that you can try the water and see how much better you feel. And if you stick around here long enough, you'll find that people are coming in, and they're being relieved from asthma, arthritis, um, um, stomach problems. That's one of the first things that's alleviated, and people notice, because it happens so quickly. Um, more energy. So there's a lot of positive to it. And then you try it for the three weeks, and then after that, I'm hoping that you are interested in getting the machine for your home because the fresher you drink the water, the better it is. It is amazing, isn't it? Um, <laughs> we'll let you know soon. <laughs> it ranges from $1,200, $1,280 to $3,980. And there's payment plans. The um, other woman that works with me, she has four children here. She bought the machine. She saves $4,000 a year by using this instead of the other products that she would have had to buy, like the laundry detergent, the Windex, um, cleaning things. So she's saving money. And you're not buying whatever water you used to buy. I have one 11th grader. He came in and he, he asked me what the payment plan was. And I was like, really? So I showed him the payment plan, and this is the top of the line. This is the one that is my most popular one because of all the things it does. The one up there is called the Sunus. That's the $1,280 one, and that has the drinking water. So that um, is, you put $400 down, and then it's $100 a month, roughly. And so he said that his parents are getting Poland Springs for $70 a month. So if they put their money towards this machine, in 10 months they'll have that paid for, and then he can pocket $70 a month. <laughs> How often do you have to, is there filters? How does it yeah, in this one it's three th every 3,000 gallons, and a typical family of four would go through it maybe, um, they'd have to change it once a year or once every 10 months, and that's $100 or $120 depending on which one you want to buy. And then you bring it in for a cleaning. There's an office in Long Island City. You can even mail it in, either mail it in or bring it yourself. It takes about a half hour. and It's kind of like a deep cleaning, kind of like getting your car tuned up. Yeah. So, so when do we get to try it? You get to try it right now. I have the pictures ready. 
and you're supposed to drink it fresh. The fresher you drink it, the better it is. If you um, like, to, I think of it as a battery that's going to lose its charge. So today it's the best. Tomorrow it's not as good. The next day it's a little less. So the fresher you drink it, the better it is. Some people come in here every day and replenish their jugs. Some people come in twice a week. It depends on where they work and how they are. So you can find a lot of information on the internet. The company's from Japan. It's a medical device in Japan and Canada. It's in a lot of the hospitals in Japan. Japan is number one ranked in health. We're like 37. We spend, I think, the most money on health and all that. Drugs. People get off their medication drinking this water. It helps your body heal itself. So. Where is this product manufactured by the way? Japan. And you're supposed to drink 50 to 75 percent of your body weight in ounces every day. So most people I, I suggest start with a half a gallon as a target because a lot of people don't drink enough. And then see how you feel and go from there. And your skin starts to feel better. Um, you know, you get more energy. Some people, one college girl, she said that she feels her writing skills is getting better, and her professor even noticed that her writing skills were getting better. And another girl was um, suffering from depression, and she thought, you know, that this was helping her with that. So it, it is. Some people call it a miracle water, or the special water. I'm only drinking the special water. And I do a demonstration that shows you the different waters and what you might be drinking now and how acidic they are. Like Poland Springs is very close to um, tap water. Poland Springs is owned by Nestle. Nestle goes up to Maine and puts their tap water in a bottle. And they're putting it in regular plastic bottles that leach into the water. So that's not good. Then, um, let's see. <laughs> then, um, Another water, Aquafina. Aquafina and Dasani, they're made by Coke and Pepsi-Cola. On the chart, they turn uh, good as purple, and that's my water. Bad is red, way on the other side. Um, those are like orange. They're really acidic, and so they're no good for you. I have a lot of cancer patients that come in here because that's when they learn that they're acidic. So by drinking the water, it's helping their body maintain being more alkaline. So disease can't live in an alkaline environment. Um, and Celsa, um, Pellegrino, anything that's carbonated is not good for you. The Japanese call that cancer in a can. So even if you take my water and you use it with a carbonated um, machine and you carbonate my water, it's going to turn my water bad. So I would stay away from carbonation. It takes 30 to 40 glasses of my water to neutralize one glass of Celsa. And then another thing we have is um, this is a Soleil solution. So you put about this much salt in the bottom, like a third of salt, and then you fill the rest with water. After three days, it becomes a Soleil solution. So it's a 26% saturation of salt. Then you take a teaspoon of that, and you put it in a glass of water every morning, and then you're getting your 84 minerals. You're not getting your full minerals for the day, but it's helping to add to that. I keep this in my bathroom, and then you know after I brush my teeth, I rinse my mouth out with it. I have the teaspoon every morning. Um, one guy, I keep it here, so one guy came in and he said, oh, Kath, you know, can I have a little bit of this? So I said, sure, go ahead. And usually people put a little bit in their glass of water. This guy took about this much, put it in his water, I mean, just put it in his glass. And I was like, don't do that, you know, that's going to be too salty. It tastes hard. I took a teaspoon and I, like, didn't like it on its own. So he said, no, no, I do this all the time at home, I'll be fine. And so then he turned white. He asked if he could sit on the couch. He went to the bathroom. He sat on the couch again. And then the next day I talked to his girlfriend, and he said, and she said that he passed a tapeworm. So the tapeworm didn't even like it in his, bo in his body. He didn't know he had a tapeworm. Now he feels much better. So there's uh, all sorts of benefits. So you, you drink that and you don't just gargle with it? I gargle with it and I drink just a teaspoon, just a little bit.
And then the, light, the lamps that you see around, they're all Himalayan salt lamps, the ones on the shelves. The lamps give off negative ions. So you know how um, the TV, the computer gives off positive ions? Well, this gives off negative ions. So that they're good to have around when they're lit. Um, they're lights. Oh. We, we have the ones that are on the shelves, they're all lights. But then I have candle holders. Uh, I keep on near my computer so that you kind of help the EMF AS, AMS stay away. You know, the electromagnetic field that you get. Um, and then we have different functions here. We have raw foods classes as opposed to this is going to be a beautiful five course dinner. But the classes are where you learn how to prepare some of the items. Yeah, so it's really good. A lot of fun. And a nice little social activity, you know, you get dinner and you get a night out and you're not doing anything bad. You know what, I like to classify it as sacred commerce. It's like sacred community. We are all helping each other. And it's a way to gravitate and come together and, and share what you know and, and help each other heal and get healthy. And mm -hmm. It's fun. Yeah. And we're going to have an infrared sauna in the back. We have a healing room in the back that right now is being used as our little kitchen area. I tried that out last year. Yeah, did you? Yeah, so I'm hoping to get one next week. And um, But we have a massage table where we do Reiki, reflexology, massage, and the chlorine. And then I had some chemo nurses come here, and they told me that um, the chlorine stops you from being able to absorb the antioxidants. And the antioxidants is what's going to help you fight the cancer. So if the chlorine is stopping your body from receiving them, you're kind of in trouble, so you want to avoid the chlorine. The other thing with the chlorine is so now if I have the, um, the dye in here that shows you that there's chlorine in it, and then I cut up a food or vegetable, like I cut up an onion and I put it inside, the yellow will go away. And that's showing you how you think you're washing your fruits and vegetables, but you're really dosing them with chlorine. Then you take a shower, and I don't know, we kind of hit things around here, but we, ha we sell shower filters. And so one guy came in after buying a shower filter, and nine months later, he came in and brought me what it looked like, which is an horrible, ugly, um, brown, black thing. And um, so your body is uh, your largest organ, your skin, I mean, your, is your largest organ, so you're absorbing all that chlorine through your skin. So that's another thing you can avoid easily. It's a $60 item, and it gets rid of all that chlorine. Awesome. Another nice story is I had um, two little kids come in. One was like, I don't know, second grade and one wasn't in school yet. So they came in and I showed them the demonstration. Then their mother came in to get the water and said, you know, Catherine, my kids love that and they want to see it again. And I was like, great. You know, so they came back and they brought two of their other little friends. So the four of them are, are listening. The little boy that was the youngest that had been here the first time, he was like, you know, trying to give me the answers because he remembered a, little, you know, a lot of it. And then the third time those kids came in, they came in because their teacher was, um, had cancer, was diagnosed with cancer, and they asked their mother if they could get a gallon of water to bring it to their, kid, to their teacher. See, they're really paying attention. So they, you could get them when they're young. That, well, that's how, I mean, I don't believe you should have dairy, you know, at right. for, and that's what the dairy company does, is they target the children. Because if you get them when they're little, you know, that's golden for your company. But if you get them, and then I even, I would even show the demonstration <laughs> to kids, and I'd say, you know, how Coke and, and, um, and Pepsi-Cola, they have their soda, then they have the, the water, and then if my, um, information is correct, they put some of their profits into pharmaceuticals. So I said, isn't that smart of them? You know, they have a perpetual customer for life. Yeah, I like it.